It's 810 this morning. Workers who narrowly escaped the Hard Rock Hotel collapse have told us their harrowing stories this week. But Eyewitness News investigator David Hammer spoke to one worker with a unique story of heroism. Oh my God. When the Hard Rock Hotel collapsed October 12th, 50 construction workers were trapped on the 17th floor with no stairs to get down. So that was when we find out like we have to jump to get down. Iron worker Belter Bermudez said panic set in as they stood at the edge where the floor had buckled. I'm sorry for the people, but I pushed some of the guys like until I get to the, the 15th floor. He had to jump again to get to the solid concrete base at the eighth floor. We have to jump again from eight to seven, more than 10 feet. Finally out on the street, first responders ushered Bermudez and other survivors behind yellow police tape, but he quickly realized it wasn't over yet. When I turned my head and I saw my coworker's helmet and he was waving his hand like, help me, and I say, Enrique is over there. He said he argued with the firefighters to let him back in. Because my friend does speak English, I need to translate for him to be treated like immediately. And they took him to the hospital, thanks God. His friend Enrique had taken this video of another worker named Albert trapped under a fallen steel beam. That's when I, I went back to the building again with the firefighters. Bermudez said he knew how to get to Albert. We wasn't able to help Albert because all the debris and the metal don't let us to go against Mr. Albert. Albert, he get out by himself. But along the way, Bermudez said they found another co-worker, Derek Pate, with a broken leg. They called Pate Goody. We find a Woody trap and the we we rescue him. After 17 years in New Orleans, the Guatemala native said he feared for his life, but couldn't leave without risking it again for his friends. David Hammer, Eyewitness News.